Peel Harry Estuary is the jewel in the crown down here. It's 133 square kilometres of water. The estuary is fed by three main rivers. There's the, the Harvey River, which is to the south. There's the Murray River, which brings flow from the wheat belt over the scarp and into the estuary. There's the Serpentine, which sort of heads off in a bit of a northerly direction. Serpentine is shaped like a, a snake, as the name suggests. If you want to make an analogy, those three rivers really are the arteries that carry the lifeblood through to the estuary. So they're really key um, for two reasons. One of them is the quality of the blood or the water they bring to the, to the estuary. The second one is the flow that they bring. So without the flow, we don't get the, the nice, healthy, beating heart that is the estuary. I'm Joanne Garvey and I'm the Healthy Rivers Coordinator at the Peelharvey Catchment Council. I work alongside our community on waterways and rivers to increase the biodiversity and connect areas between the river and the bushland. Serpentine River has been dramatically modified since European settlement in the early 1800s. Contributions from land clearing, building drains and desnagging and dam construction are just some of our impacts affecting the health of the Serpentine River and other rivers in our region. The Serpentine River and not just the Serpentine but the streams that drain into it were really heavily engineered at the, from the time of European settlement right up through until the later part of last century. The river's really been taken from something that was a meandering stream that served a purpose in trying to improve water quality by filtering nutrients and other things out as it made its way down towards the, the estuary. It's been changed from that into a conveyance for water. The project's called Restoring the Serpentine River, Connecting Communities and Corridors. So it's about that community engagement, community involvement, as well as trying to get the restoration works to happen as well. For today, we've got our car workers out here, we've got general public, We've got some traditional boys out here. We've got people from Peel Harvey Catchment. I'm from the Nature Conservancy. It doesn't matter what background you're from. At the end of the day, us all making a considered effort to, you know, be a part of the program, not only makes the job smaller, but makes everybody appreciate it more. This project actually forms part of a much larger initiative that we have called Three Rivers, One Estuary. And that involves us working not only with the Peel Harvey Catchment Council, but also with other great organisations. And it's about protecting the three major rivers in the area, not only the Serpentine, but also the Murray and the Harvey Rivers, and then also the Peel Harvey Estuary that they feed into. To begin with, we connected the community at all levels through forums, workshops and events. We undertook extensive surveying to establish current conditions and set baselines for future comparisons. Just upstream we have one of the only remnant bushlands and river riparian zones remaining intact on the Swan Coastal Plain. We call this place Lowlands Conservation Reserve. Lowlands Nature Reserve was chosen as our reference site for the Restoring the Serpentine River project because it remains in such a pristine condition. My name is Rupert Richardson and I farm along the Serpentine River. I think I'm the fifth generation here. And at present there's three different farms, Lowlands, Rivley and Calga. Lowlands being the original historic part of the farm. The Serpentine River flows right through the middle of the property, so it's our key water source. We need to keep the water in a good, usable form. So one of the things we think about is, you know, can you drink the water? And if you're doing something, you don't want to mess that up. When the water leaves the property, we, we don't want it to be carrying too much in the way of nutrients and so forth. This area used to be, 25 years ago, very bare. It was a stock drinking area, and the, all the trees around me in the river channel that's self-regenerated and the ones on the banks we've replanted ourselves with the help of assistance from various organisations.
I think it's important to restore it to how it was growing up being a boy and you know fishing along the river, learning how to spear fish. I want to pass that on to the next generation and I also want them to have the opportunity to pass it on to future generations. I'd really like to thank the community for all their efforts and being involved in the project because after all it belongs to all of us.